Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shafina Spinti Abdul Raza and my partner Batra Amin bin Abdul Rahman. We represent Chapter 8, Target Market and Channel Design Strategy. There are seven subtopics in this chapter and we will discuss all about it. Market Variable The target market needs and one should drive the manner in which the channel manager shape the design of the firm marketing channels. Now we go to the framework for market analysis. In this chapter, we use a framework consisting for of four basic dimensions for discussing market, which is market geography, market size, market density, and market behavior. Market geography refers to the geographical extent of market and where they are located. If the channel manager asks the question, what do our market look like geographically and how distant are our market? The concern is with the market geography dimension. The channel manager is charged with the task of evaluating the geography relative to channel structure to make sure that the structure is able to serve the market effect effectively and efficiently. Changing market location resulted from expanding geographical boundaries of existing market or the opening up of new modest market should signal the channel manager that modification in channel structure may be needed. For example, Starbucks has in recent years located coffee shop not only in every state in the US but also over the world including many countries in Europe, ASEAN, and South Africa, South America. Starbucks is following, Starbucks is following in the footsteps of other firms such as McDonald's, Burger King, and Kentucky Fried Chicken, which have been locating their restaurant throughout the world for many years. These firms have not let geographical, geographical distance stand in the way of riches chasing their target mark, target customer rather they have developed and adapted their channel structure to serve this this the market effectively and efficiently locating market as part of the firm overall marketing strategy the channel manager may be called on to delineate the geographical location of target markets Generally, this can be done in terms of one or more commonly accepted geographical units. The Bureau of the Chances, for example, lists data for number of geographical entities such as state, region and division, countries, metropolitan statistical areas, selected town and township, and, art, and several other special purpose designation. Postal zip code are also useful for delineating market geographically. Some combination of these geographical entities typically serve as the basis of specifying the location of market. More difficult than locating market is keeping track on geographical changes chain, chain, chains in existing market and forecasting such change for the nature. Given the increasing mobility of population, the channel manager cannot expect market geography to remain stable for an extended period of time. In a, in a global content, market geography has also changed dramatically in recent years. Most notably, countries in Southeast Asia as well as the former Eastern Bloc countries of Central and Eastern Europe have become key location for emerging market. Fortunately, channel managers are not required to measure, track, and forecast for this change themselves. This is a job for experts in geography, demography, sociology, and economy, and much of the data they generate is available from secondary sources. What is required of the channel manager, however, is an awareness of a sensitivity to changes in, mar in market geography reflected in the data and a willingness to examine their possible implication for channel design decision. 
market size. The second dimension of the market framework market size refer to the number of buyer or potential buyers. Consumer or industry is in a given market. Brooklyn develop a model relating market size to channel structure which provide some insight for using market size data. Brooklyn model is shown in figure 8.2 as you guys can see in the ebook. In the figure, the horizontal axis measures the number of buyers in a market with each buyer purchasing approximately the same number of units in each transaction. CD is the cost of the direct channel which is almost constant of each buyer. The side downward slope is due to the likely existence of external marketplace economy for larger volumes, better marketplace facility at a lower cost. On the other hand, the channel using intermediaries CM show high cost for a small market with a sharp decrease for larger volume. The high initial cost result from the extra handling and a transaction cost necessary for the intermediary channel. At a lower level of volume, any saving in concentration and depression are insufficient to offset this. But as volume increase and the cost of using intermediaries is spread, is spread over the larger number of buyer cost will be decreased. Now I will pass to the next presenter which is my partner. Thank you. Next is the market density and channel strategy. Okay, for the first three, we can see the efficient congregation. What is the efficient congregation? Uh, it means the high density markets can promote efficiency in the performance of several basic distribution tasks, particularly those of transportation, storage, communication and negotiation. Okay, maksud efficient congregation ialah dia bertujuan untuk mempromosikan lagi tentang Bagaimanakah performance sesuatu distribution task atau perhantaran dari segi story dan juga storage, transportation, cara berkomunikasi dan juga untuk negotiation. And then the the basic question ni ialah the relationship between the market density and also the channel structure. And for the strategic implication, it means the opportunity to achieve a high level of customer access at lower cost in is higher in the market. Okay, strategi implication ni adalah satu strategi yang di mana untuk menjual satu produk yang akan menggandakan lagi tentang uh, suatu produk tu bagaimanakah company itu untuk menjanakan lagi ataupun meningkatkan lagi dari segi uh, penjualan suatu produk itu. And then the next the distribution in the consumer product. Okey, ini adalah uh, salah satu step by step bagaimanakah distribution ataupun uh, produk itu dihasilkan dan dia akan ter, dia, dia dihantar kepada retailer ataupun penjual akhir ataupun penjual-penjual runcit. Okey, for the first we can see the basic product producer, uh, pros, uh, producer and then the is go to the general wholesaler and then uh, basic product especially wholesaler next is the basic product producer and it's go back to the basic product and then is go to specially world seller and then the the finished product uh, proce uh, processor and then is go the regional world seller goes to local world seller and then the finally is the retailer peruncit peruncit and then the market behavior and channel design okey ini adalah uh, market behavior ni adalah gelagat-gelagat di antara uh, consumer ataupun pengguna yang uh, hendak membeli barang okey when the customer buy Uh, for the firstly, we have uh, variation occurs uh, such as daily, weekly and seasonally. Okay, ini adalah gelagat uh, tentang gelagat uh, consumer atau pengguna yang akan membeli barang secara daily, weekly ataupun seasonally. Okay, the implication for the channel manager. For the variation, create a peaks and relay in manufacturer production schedule. Okay, variation ni seperti daily, weekly and seasonally ni, dia telah akan menghasilkan salah satu peningkatan dari segi production Uh, magnificent schedule Okey, contohnya kalau macam satu ahad dia akan memang padat lah orang akan pergi ke contohnya pergi ke shopping mall untuk membeli barang jadi manufacturer ni akan uh, dia punya jadual akan ni lah lebih uh, kena ada ni lah lebih efektif lagi untuk uh, stok barang tu tidak akan habis jika peningkatan dari segi amount of the consumer 
and then it dangerous to carry the inventory for some reason ok untuk ini jika uh, manufacturer carry a lot of the inventory dia akan akan adanya risiko apabila dia bekerja seorang sebab ianya lagi segi storage and the really insurance tu can costly lah ataupun akan berisiko dan juga untuk berbahaya untuk di carry oleh seorang lah and then the avoid selecting channel members who are out of touch with a time demand of market serve ok uh, avoid lah elakkan untuk uh, memilih channel member yang telah orang kata busy pada hari sebut ataupun dia kadang-kadang uh, uh, channel member ni dia akan buka dia punya kedai mungkin satu ahad cuti padahal satu ahad tu merupakan salah satu hari yang di mana uh, pengguna akan lebih membeli dah sebab ah cuti kan jadi peningkatan amount tu akan mengganggu sikit lah kalau memilih channel yang out of time demand dalam market serve and then the where customer buy ok for the firstly you can see the determine the outlet which customer made a purchase such as market geography ok for the first point ni apa yang kita lihat uh, apa tu peruncit ataupun company ni haruslah mencari tempat yang sesuai dan tempat outlet yang sesuai untuk customer untuk senang lah untuk dia orang akan beli barang tersebut untuk cari dan dan juga cari barang tersebut and then the first uh, second point is the consumer know the actual geographic location of the market ok pastikan lokasi outlet tu di, diketahui oleh pengguna-pengguna and then the third point is the consumer will think about distant cost to spend over conversion ok uh, the consumer will know uh, will will know the outlet the consumer akan tahulah ah uh, berapa kos dia akan spend seperti uh, harga, apa tu minyak ke petrol lagi lagi segi masa jadi orang tahulah bila outlet tu dah tahu and then the growth of the online shopping will be competition with a channel such as price and product okay for your information um, the online shopping is very really uh, sangat sangat berguna sekarang very really useful because the many people will buy online shopping because it easily uh, we can uh, we can uh, save money uh, time we can uh, on, only order in the online and uh, all smartphone untuk membeli barang-barang tersebut dan dia akan menjimatkan masa lah and then the how the market buy okay this is the behavior uh, with a certain certain consumer such as okay large quantity versus small quantities self service versus an assistant by a same people one stop shopping versus an buying for a service store impulse buying versus an intensive vision cash versus credit shopping at home versus shopping at store expanding sustain effort versus expanding little effort and then demanding SDC service versus demanding little service okey ini adalah antara gerak-gerak yang di mana gerak-gerak uh, pengguna lah kalau lagi segi beli dekat uh, di outlet ataupun di online and then uh, who buy who make the physical purchase okey firstly the effect the type of retailer choosing in the consumer market they influence mempengaruhi the kind of channel members use to serve industry market for example women traditional shop in the department store far more heavily than men okey dalam um, outlet-outlet perempuan kebanyakannya perempuan lah akan lebih lagi membeli daripada lelaki kerana kuasa membeli daripada perempuan adalah lebih tinggi daripada lelaki kerana pun uh, kerana sebab dia orang punya hak membeli tu memang tinggi lah sebagai contohnya kalau lelaki nak beli barang-barang macam contohnya uh, dah berumah tangga kan uh, perempuan lah akan memilih uh, antaranya barang-barang dengan lelaki nak, contoh nak beli baju ke seluar ke apa-apa uh, pakaian jadi kuasa perempuan tu lebih lagi untuk pada lelaki lah untuk pembelian-pembelian uh, suatu barang and then the who is the participate in the buying decision men or women who actually make the physical purchase to decide make purchase in the first place ok uh, for this I think a woman he is the first uh, place who actually make a physical purchase in decide uh, purchase uh, untuk satu barang and then the user the member of organization who will use the product or service ni adalah pengguna users 
the influencer orang yang mempengaruhi people influence the validation orang yang mempengaruhi ada satu uh, barang and then decider people who have uh, the power to decide on product recruitment okey ini adalah uh, uh, orang yang mempunyai kuasa untuk uh, memilih sesuatu pembelian and then the approval orang yang mengapprovekan ataupun menerima uh, suatu barang decision tu and then the buyer people with formal authority for selecting the supplier and arranging the term of purchase buyer ni kita lah pengguna and then the gatekeeper is people who have the power to prevent seller on information from issue member of the buying center okey gatekeeper ni uh, seperti exclusive assistant secretary ataupun reception lah dalam kebanyakan kan shopping mall ada lah uh, orang nak gatekeeper ni and then okey that's all for the chapter 8 the is refrain we use and then the okay thank you uh that's all thank you